We're gonna restart. What's up? Physique development here. Alex. Okay, so. Okay, so. <laughs> I like my first take better. All right, I'm a one taker. I don't do the, I get in my own head. Let's hop on in to the carbon take around your training session. So, the first thing that we suggest to clients is to take in um, their pre-meal two to three hours before their training. Um, this meal will be fairly dense in carbs, um, moderate protein, and pretty low fat. Um, the carb intake that we would suggest, um, just depending on how much they're taking in throughout the day, um, it could range from anywhere from 50 uh, to 100 grams of carbs. Something that I will suggest as far as the foods to pick, um, you want to stay away from um, dense amounts of fiber um, as that's going to be a little bit harder to digest going into a training session. Um, you want to pick familiar foods that you generally will eat all the time. Um, so some sources that I pick myself um, are going to be white rice, uh, sweet potatoes, and what was another thing? Oh, and rice cakes and jelly, which is a pretty quick, easy, easy digesting carb source for me personally. Um, so you could use those sources or whatever source that you want. Um, yeah, and then with that meal as well, um, sodium and potassium are going to be your friends. So the sweet potato is going to be a good source of potassium. Um, all of those can obviously you can add salt to. Um, another good source of potassium would be bananas. So any of those things, um, bananas can be added to any of those, um, would be a good option for pre-meal. Um, then once you've reached the uh, uh, past that two to three hour mark, you really want to stick to liquids or um, sugary candies, um, gummies. Um, with, they're going to be your best option as far as digestion goes and actual use of the carbohydrates. Um, so within that one to two hour mark, I would suggest to take in um, a Powerade right here, or a Gatorade or um, Carblin. Um, Carblin is probably going to be your most pricey option. This is empty. I ran out today. Within that one to two hour mark, stick to the liquids. Um, try not to go whole foods, as that's probably going to irritate your stomach. With the pre-workout. Um, drink or whatever you're doing like 15 to 20 minutes out I would still stick to liquids but you could also do the candy uh, Sour Patch Kids is what I've been using because um, it was on sale um, but the the source that I would suggest to everyone is going to be the Harboro uh, gummy bears as the main source of um, carbohydrates in there is dextrose and dextrose is the bomb diggity dot com okay and then during your training session, carbohydrates can still be useful. Um, what I would suggest is the Carbolin. Um, you could do candy again, but the Carbolin is gonna be your best option. Um, I tend to get a little grossed out by training, 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 and then eating with the same hand. I don't know if you can hand sanitize, but I would rather just drink the, the carbs as it's gonna be a little bit quicker and a little bit more convenient. We've, we've knocked out the two to three hours out. We knocked out the one to two hours pre-training, intra-training. Now we'll talk post-workout. Um, so immediately post-workout, you could do the sugary candies. You could do the carbolin again. Um, all very easy digesting sources. Um, just re replenishing the glycogen that you um, depleted during your workout. Um, then, uh, generally, we will suggest to eat an hour to an hour and a half post-workout um, as their full meal. Um, I, I tend to find it a little difficult to eat immediately after the workout um, as uh, the lactic acid and um, I'm just not very, I'm not starving by any means um, by the end of my workout. So I, I tend to chill out have um, maybe some BCAs or something of that nature um, post-workout, but then an hour, um, an hour and a half after my training session, I will have my, my big post-workout meal. Um, what we will suggest with that 
is a three to one um, carb to protein ratio or a four to one carb to protein ratio um, depending on how much the the client or myself has for the day so you could you would go back to familiar foods you'd probably stick stay away from the fiber um, again sodium potassium electrolytes are going to be your best friend here uh, I do want to do another video talking about other supplementation that can be used pre intra and post workout um, that are not carb sources so uh, I don't wanna. We'll, uh, we'll leave. Hey, bye, 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 bye. Yeah. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Peace out. Physique development. I. Uh,